Mario is the real hot dog scythe, not you. No! So anyway, in the last episode of Paper Mario, which was actually like two weeks ago, I... Like... <laughs> I pretty much just got here and like a whole bunch of stupid stuff just ha like started happening. Like the reason why I didn't record was stupid family stuff. It's not even a good reason to be honest. And another reason like to add on to that is just stupid friend stuff. Which I'm not even going to get into because I don't want to talk about that. Um. <clears throat> What ended up happening is I'm no longer friends with that person, which is really too bad. But besides that, we are witnessing a battle right now. Tell you what, do about a million, a million push-ups and then come back. I've, like, I swear I've heard that somewhere before, but I do not remember. So there's really no point in reading this because, like, the conversation already started, like, a minute ago so it'll just be awkward for me to just start reading it you know and maybe I shouldn't read it you know if you really want to read it you can just like you can kinda just pause the video or I'll just like keep it on the dialogue for like an extra second see if you can read it which should give you enough time to read it oh my word Mario that is a crystal star Crystal star. Yes, indeed. Yes, I do believe it is. What wonderful sparkle. I already know what the star is. And if you like if you've played the game, you also know. Boohoo. What shall we do, Mario? Steal a steal a thing. Battle our way to the top. It doesn't matter what you pick for the options, you're just gonna get the same outcome, I believe. So pretty much this is what I was talking about in a couple like I don't know I uh, I don't remember how many episodes I go ago I was talking about this but this is the chapter where it's kind of like it's kind of like the pit of a hundred trials in this game except I think it's only 20 enemies and it's way easier than the pit of a hundred tri trials for some reason I can't say that right today so we're just going to continue on what the <clears throat> the blue dude told us to do was to go to Grubba's office which I think that's what his name is what's that you want to uh, <clears throat> you want to be a fighter bub <laughs> Mr. Grubba is just inside what a weird name Grubba isn't that from Banjo Kazooie or are those like Scrubbas or something no Zubbas that's what I'm thinking about that's Conqueror's Bad Fur Day Conquer where to conk. Yeah, Zebas, that's what I remember. An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Yes. Now, what I wish what you could have done, like, that probably made no sense, but I wish you, like, it gave you the option to create your own name instead of it just giving you one. But I can see why not, I guess. Well, actually, wait, what? Darn Skippy. <laughs> All right, all right, son. Just wait until, uh, just wait until you hear the name that he gives us. It's the best. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot. Fancy stuff. He's kind of giving us backstory. Not really. He's just telling us what he wanted to do with his life, I guess. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more. Hmm. You say that, but can you? Only time will tell. And when you make it big, you look back at <clears throat> all those small dreamers and laugh. Ha! You know? You know who that reminds me of? Scythe. Because Scythe is a s big dreamer. But he's a small person. Blah. So what he's going to do is, um, he's going to show us to the minor locker room, I think. Or he's just going to show us around. That door is the closet, I think. Think. It's just a locked room that we won't be able to do anything with for a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I actually mean a while. Now this is the champion's room. Now, I I like this room, but I would never sleep in the bed. 
because it's wood. Like, it's a downgrade. It makes no sense. Like, they make it seem like it's a really good thing, but it's not. Because, obviously, you can tell it's made out of wood and doesn't look comfortable at all. But the, <clears throat> the minor league's locker room looks a lot more comfortable because it looks like an actual mattress and that kind of stuff. Oh, hey, the, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty-bitty contract to be a fighter. Uh, so, I think if you pick I don't think so, you do it anyway. You signed the contract, even though Mario didn't move from that spot. He probably just wrote with his eyes, you know. Like, just use laser vision. Still, I gotta say, pard. Pard. It lacks, wait. It lacks a little punch as a fighter's name, get me? Maybe. Let me see here, watch this. Bam! Hooey, I got it. You is the great Gonzalez. <laughs> Mario was like, me? The great Gonzalez. Like... Nintendo, really? It's probably something else in the Japanese version. I wouldn't be surprised. You know what they should have done? They should have called Mario the Jumpman instead of the Great Gonzalez. Because I just think that would have been cool. Like, referencing Mario's old name from the old Donkey Kong game. Because his name was actually Jumpman in, like, the very old Donkey Kong arcade game. But now he's just Mario, obviously. <clears throat> so yeah, that would have been cool if he, um, if his name was Jumpman. You are the great Jumpman. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. Yes, first and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes. This character that is kind of giving us a tour of, well, not really a tour, but she's just telling us where, what to do at the moment. She's going to be playing an important role in this chapter later. <clears throat> and pretty much what she's telling us to do now is... Um, she's just telling us how everything works. If you don't like this room, I suggest you work your, <clears throat> work your way up. Use this Game Boy iPad, because that looks really cool. It's like the Game Pad. <laughs> the Game Pad, really. Why don't you try it once? Just walk up to the screen and press A. You know, like, there's... <laughs> Doesn't that sound awkward to them? I mean, it's just people telling you to press the A button. It's like... Does Mario really understand that? Like, if someone just told Mario in a game to press the A button, like, what is going through his mind? It's like, what are you talking about? There is no A button. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just jump on them. Wait, what? Just mop them up, okay? Hey, you wanna get everyone fired up, so appeal to the crowd at least once. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, What this chapter does is, like I said, you fight enemies, but you also have fighting conditions. And obviously, as Grubba said, um, this fight condition is to appeal to the crowd. Now, if you don't do the fighting conditions, which I think she is actually explaining right now, but if you do not do the fighting conditions, you do not go to the next fight, even if you do win. So, I guess this is actually, um, <clears throat> like, you can actually grind star points here if you really wanted to, because I think you still get star points from these fights. Well, <laughs> I forgot that a guy came. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security is here to take you to the ring. Now, I don't know if the fight conditions are, like, randomized throughout every fight. Or if they're, like, the same every time. I don't know. But this... Oh, God. Jeez. I wanted to take out Coops. I could have mopped the floor of these guys with Coops. Man, how do Goomba bros? Are you kidding me, man? We're always ready. Goombas. No one likes Goombas. Is this really a fair fight, though? I mean, it's like five against two. It's like... That's... I mean, they're really easy, but still. Why Why you do this, Mario? Well, Nintendo. Okay, now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules. Yeah, see, then this guy just comes up. It might surprise you at first, but 
appeal to the crowd at least once. What sort of base cowards attack before the <clears throat> match officially begins? Yeah, you tell that asshole. Wow, only 10 minutes? Hmm. So, these guys are lucky because they don't have to, like, abide by any battle conditions, but we do. So, do I actually... No, I do not. Um. Okay, it looks like I'll just... Wait, do I have multi-balance? No, I don't. Um, after this fight, I'm actually going to look to see if I have, um, <clears throat> any badges that'll, like, multi-target badges, or just buy items. But what I have to do now is I have to jump on them, like, each one. If I had coops, I could just use Power Shell and just be done with it, because these matches should not take long at all. I, I was just not prepared at all, like I forgot. And there will be certain battle conditions, like don't use any items, or don't use your jump or hammer. I think there's actually one that's don't use your star power, but I do not remember. Might be false, might not be, but who knows. Well, people who've played this game, that's what. Okay, I'm glad that we did not get that, because that would have just wasted more time. And we're already at full HP. So I, I wonder how bad these guys feel, because they're not getting a scratch on us. That's just funny, just flurries, just pounding them, body slamming them. <laughs> Bam. So normal, <clears throat> normal jump. So we do 4 damage, these guys only have 2 HP, so it's like overkill, but whatever I guess. You got 5 star points, and we are about to level up. <laughs> I like how one of them is just on their heads. Looks so stupid. The Great Gonzales wins! How you feel, son? That battle was savage. Uh, it was okay, I guess. Yes, what a joke! <laughs> a whoopin'. This kid's got skills. Kid. Man, we're a grown man. <laughs> like, that's just weird. Like, I, don't they do that in a couple of Mario games where, where like, the people just say kid when they're saying Mario? Like, referring to him? Oh, did he just say something? I wasn't paying attention. And another thing, you also get fight money, which progressively increases as you get higher and <clears throat> like as you rank higher you get more money so let me see if I actually have badges I think I might have sold the power smash yo rock how was your first fight <laughs> what I'm King K man just a bush league yeah bush league scrub within like 20 minutes I'm going going to be way ahead of you guys so don't even this guy's here, Master Crash. Master Crash Bandicoot. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Bomb! Well now, <laughs> I've gotten to know each other. I will give you advice, Bomb! <clears throat> As Miss Jolene was saying, you'd better Bomb, obey the Bomb, grow his Bomb rules. Bomb, Bomb, Bomb. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher ranked foes. Bomb! That's funny how he just says Bomb. And if you can't clear them, bomb, you have to fight the guy again. Which I think is a bunch of BS, because the uh, foes don't have to um, do any battle conditions. Unless they do, and you just don't see them. Right, man? <laughs> Whatever, anyway. This lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. That's a creative name, I guess. Not really. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not... Well, I'm not in here too often. I, I think that's what he said. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed, he's pretty much telling us if you sleep in the bed, you, we get our... our <clears throat> sorry, my throat. I don't know why this happens every time I record. But when we sleep in the bed, we actually get our HP and FP up. But as the bandit mentioned, um, it does not refill our star power like the champion's room does like the champion's bed which doesn't really matter because star power is not used that much at least I don't use it as much so quake hammer damage which does this do 
Decreases the damage. Um, happy heart. Okay, this one we can afford to lose. Like, and put Quake Hammer. And FP Plus, when did I get that? Yes, Multi Bounce and Quake Hammer. Those are probably one of the best... <clears throat> Like the best item, not items, the best badges you can actually use. And I'm trying to look for the amount of money. Okay, eight coins, I have like nothing. So let's go and reserve another match. Actually, I might be doing something bad by doing this, but I'm actually going to switch to coops before doing this. So, let's see. Well, alrighty then, let me just see who your next opponents are. Rank 18, the KP Koopas. A Koopa against a Koopa. In this battle, I want you to use your enemy... Wait, let your enemy damage you three times. Oh, this is stupid. I mean, why do they do this? I I rarely get this one, but you have to let your enemy damage you three times. So, I guess that makes it nearly impossible to do a no damage run in this game, huh? I mean, if they're giving you fight conditions like that, where you have to take damage, I mean, you can't really do anything about it. I mean, unless you want to disobey his fighting conditions and... Wait. Actually, never mind, because I don't think you get a new condition every time you fight. It's just the same thing. So, the Shell Machines of Doom, yet the KP Koopas. KP Koops. We can do this, Mario. I love how Koopa is just, like, so shy. Meet my peeps, Gonzales, my peeps. So we have two Koopas and a Paracoopa. I think that's a Paracoopa, Paracoopa. Take damage from your opponent three times. Um, dang, this is actually... Uh, I'm gonna try to kill this guy. I think he's dead, right? Yes. So what I'm going to probably do is I'm still going to hit them because this is only going to do one damage, I think, too. Okay, I'm going to let them hit me. Okay, this is the thing I don't know. Like, I don't know if you can um, A guard or not because it doesn't say you can, but I'm not going to just in case you're not, like, you can't A guard. Because he says let your opponents hit you, but it doesn't say let your opponents, like, make you take damage, if that makes sense. So I don't really know. But I'm just gonna let him hit me. We can re refill in the bed anyway. So spin jump. And another great thing is your FP gets refilled when you sleep too. So I mean, just go at it. Just keep using all the FP you can. I mean, you still want to use it wisely, but... I mean, if you can keep refilling it after every round for free, then I think it's really worth it. So, um... I'm actually going to go for BP, because I actually have an FP+. plus. I was thinking of doing FP, like I was thinking of getting more FP, but then I realized that I had the FP+. Plus. Which is why BP is actually really good to get, because <clears throat> a lot of badges you can get in the game increase your, like, <clears throat> it increases your HP by 5 or your FP by 5. So, essentially getting the, like, just getting BP is kind of like getting HP and FP, if you know what I mean. So... I'm just gonna take a rest right here and I'm gonna do one more battle and then we're gonna call it there. I'm actually looking at my recording right now on my second monitor. It says my like my capture card recording is at 18 no well it's at 19 minutes as of right now and my audio recording is at 19 minutes and 20 seconds so it's like 20 seconds ahead but some reason it still manages to synchronize I still have to get the video in sync which well if you didn't know this the reason why I jump when I say door like wait <laughs> well yeah when I jump when I say door like when I say welcome back to the thousand year door I'll jump and I do that so I know where to synchronize my audio which is actually a, a good technique 
like it's a good way to synchronize your audio with your video which I've been doing that for a while like I've just been trying to find ways to um, <clears throat> synchronize my audio easier just by oh that's only one <laughs> I thought that was like two or something whatever so PowerShell this should actually get rid of them please get rid of you yes thank you no wait what was the battle condition what was the battle condition I don't know shoot I literally did not see a battle condition <laughs> did I just fail did I just do the same mistake I saw another LP or do um uh oh <laughs> um, <clears throat> I want to see what's cracking, G man. I think we actually did it. You're looking good. Um, wait, what? <laughs> Looks like the bandit's at his old old tricks again, huh? I like the blue bandit. In this game, there is a blue bandit, a green bandit, and a red bandit. I think those are the three colors. I think each of them has their own HP. I can't remember if they have different abilities or different HP. I think they actually have different HP. Like I think the blue one is the weakest and the red one is the strongest, but I'm not exactly sure. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? You're a bandit and she's a toad. Well, she's a human with a hat on. You know, kind of like in the Super Mario Super Show, where Toad takes off his hat, but that's not canon, so you can't really say that with the um, <clears throat> Mario games, because it's not canon, like I said. So I don't really know. So let's see if I actually did this correctly, please. Reserve a match. Well, boy, Harry Gonzalez fixing a fight. Yep. Just see here. Will be... Um, okay, yes, the dead bones. Okay, this... Wait, I want you to use at least one special move. Okay, this should actually be really easy because dry bones is only... Wait, dry bones is... The dry bones only have... Um, I think they only have one HP. Actually, I'm gonna do this right now with the hay. Because it should go by really fast. And since the fighting condition is use a special move, I'm actually going to do one thing. So I'm actually going to use, not Sweet Treat, but I'm going to use Earth Tremor, which I think is what the first move is called. And they either have 1 or 2 HP, I think it's 1, but I'm going to play it safe and I'm going to do 2 damage with the um, Earth Tremor. So press A with perfect timing. I believe I showed this off one other time. Okay, that's it. I'm, I'm gonna fail. Yeah, okay. So this should be enough. Controller is vibrating like mad, and that's three damage. I sh didn't need to go that far. Congratulations, you got three star points. Yay! Yay! We got ourselves a winner. I thought that said dinner for some reason. We won? Cool. Coop, stop doubting the great Gonzalez. Stop doubting the hot dog. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Five coins. Mario's ranking rose to 16. Didn't we just do 16? We just did 16. Oh my god. Did I just fudge it up again? Um, you're, you're the real deal, man. The rarest, the realest, not rarest, I've ever seen. <laughs> Keep busting heads. Um, that can be taken a couple different ways, sir, but... Ah, it hurts. Keep quiet. <laughs> My foot! You're fine to shut up. <laughs> wow, apply pressure right there. Hold A to charge your laser. Okay, come on, get a grip, will you? Mommy! 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 Ah! My voice. <clears throat> Whoa, sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. How do you know it wasn't a girl, huh? Huh? <sighs> okay, um, I don't want to check because it's going to activate the next fight. 
And how much stuff do I have? Okay, I'm full. So in the next episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, actually, I can actually check, yeah, viewer rankings. Um, the Great Gonzalez. Yeah, j dang it. Wait, what? The Dead Bones. Yeah, I think I just went back, but whatever. Um, in the next episode, I, we will continue just fighting on, and eventually events, like, just little events will happen from time to time, and we will do those accordingly. So, see you later, and have a good day.